All right, in today's video, how to do if else statements in a Lambda. So today's video was actually inspired by a user submitted question. And this user wanted to know, how do we replace negative numbers in a list using a Lambda function? And so I originally told him to use an ABS built-in function, but it seemed that his question or his concern was more around, you know, how to actually do the Lambda, how to actually do the if statement and iterate over things. And so in this video, we're going to literally copy this exact list that uh, the user created, and we're going to build out the solution for him and show you guys how to do that if else statement in a Lambda with the map built in function as well. So what we're going to do is create our my list and we're going to use the list that the user submitted, right? So we have my list here, we have positive numbers, we have negative numbers, and we're going to learn how to convert this list such that the four will be positive, uh, the seven will be positive, the 11, and we're going to do that using the map built in function as well. So the first thing we're going to do is to clear our screen and I'm actually just going to give you the answer straight away. So let's run this and we can see that we have all positive numbers now. The 4, 7, and 11 are positive. So this is the exact same list from the user submitted question, except now we have all positive numbers. So here's our solution and let's break it down. I think the best place to start for our breakdown is to look at the docs for the map built in function and just remind ourselves of the inputs. So we have two arguments, we have a function and an iterable. So in this case, our function is going to be uh, this whole lambda, uh, otherwise known as an anonymous function. And then our iterable, of course, is our my list that we created. And we can type my list again and see that our original list has not been altered. Uh, we still have our negative values here that we can use for comparison. So we can see uh, both these lists side by side and see the difference that was made. And now that we have our solution, let's start to break this down a little bit further. So this is not going to be an introduction to Lambda video. Uh, this is going to be more focused on using the if else statement within a Lambda. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So this if else statement in a Lambda, right? So we have our if here and our else here. So we have a condition, and if it doesn't meet the condition, then there's some other consequences, right? So with the else, we have x. And so that means that, uh, so taking a step back, we're saying that if x is less than 0, then we'll run the ABS function on it. Otherwise, we'll leave it alone. So again, if x is less than 0, we run the ABS function on it. Else, we leave it alone. So what if, if x is less than 0, we actually say do something else? So let's say we multiply it by 2. And so we've multiplied negative numbers, and so now we have negative 8, negative 14, negative 22. Right, so this um, function or this action here only took place on the negative numbers, only on the numbers less than 0. And let me just run the original one again. And now I want to show you what happens on the else. So right now we have the else as just leaving it alone. But of course we could modify this else as well. So what if I put none here? Then all the values that are uh, greater than zero are going to be none. Or what if I did the, the multiplication on the else? So we could do x times two. And so now the two has been converted to four, the five is 10, right? So we can actually um, perform actions on numbers on both sides um, of this if statement, right? So if it's less than zero, then we do absolute. Otherwise, we multiply it by two. So I think that's one of the big helpful things about if else statements in a lambda is that you can perform actions on um, any value that gets passed to the lambda, and you can do different actions, of course, based on your if else statement. Now, I was trying to think what else should I cover in this video. So again, we'll just run our normal function. And I was thinking um, a common question might be, all right, but what if I don't want to do anything in an else? What if I only want an if statement, right? So could I just remove this else and only run the if? What do you think is going to happen? Well, when we run this, we're going to get an invalid syntax error. So just wanted to point out that unfortunately, 
Um, if you want to do a if statement and a lambda, you're always going to have to have that else as well. Um, sorry, when it comes to using the map built in function, because with map, you're really iterating over every single value in that list. So we need to know what to do with every single value in that list. If you wanted to just have an if statement, that would be that would be more of a um, something that the filter built in function would do. And I think I'll dedicate another video to using the filter built in function um, in the context of Lambda. So I just want to keep that in mind that there's um, that Lambda is very commonly used with both the map built in function as well as the filter built in function. And you're going to have to decide which of these built in functions um, makes sense in the context of what you're trying to achieve. Are you trying to filter out values or are you trying to, um, you know, iterate on every single value in that list? So I wanted to just double down on this idea of map versus filter when it comes to using lambdas. And this is a choice that you're going to have to make. So I was curious and I did a quick Google search and I searched if else statement with lambda and map, right? And so the very first solution, uh, we're going to click on that for Stack Overflow. And you know, it's a guy, he has a list and he wants to do some stuff. And the, <laughs> and the very first solution is, oh, in this case, you're probably going to need filter here. So this guy thought that he was going to want to use map. And it turns out that for this particular use case, he wanted to use filter. So I'm going to create another video specifically for filter, but just keep in mind that um, you're going to need that these have different use cases and you're going to need to decide which one to use. So in this video, we've covered the map built in function using if else statements and a lambda. And I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.